if you're like me, you're sometimes surprised at the passage of time. <laughs> uh, and, and not just the, the hours, the minutes, the days, the weeks, but the years. You know, they go by when you're engaged in something. And hopefully what you're engaged in is something that you truly enjoy. And therefore, the passage of time is enjoyable time. It's not time feeling loss or lack or being without, but it's time that you are honing your craft, that you are enjoying interactions, that you are enjoying the world, you're enjoying experiences, that you're not buried and weighted down with worry, but you are savoring, celebrating. Um, I always try to get people to celebrate the moment. Even if you're not out there doing big things and, and, and all of that, you can savor these so many wonderful moments. And you know, if you don't savor the moments, the passage of time will not be kind to you. Because in the fullness of time, you really see what it is that you've done. You see what it is you focused on. You see what it is that has been a priority. And those things that might have eluded you early on no longer elude you. Uh, they become uh, bigger and more substantial and more significant because you have um, made deposits that have now grown. And not only are they sitting there, they're uh, uh, spawning interest. And, uh, you know, it's having uh, an impact. There are three things that, that, that you will see in time that you should be mindful of. And this will help guide you in how to spend this time. The first thing is that whatever you're doing, whatever the results are, it will accumulate. You will accumulate knowledge, you will accumulate friends, you will accumulate words on a page, you will accumulate lots of things, whether they're positive or negative, if you keep doing it, you're going to accumulate them. So you have to decide every day whether those things that you're doing are those things that you want to accumulate. Are you accumulating knowledge? Are you accumulating insight? Are you accumulating perspective? Are you accumulating confidence? Are you accumulating courage? You know, what are you uh, living with day to day, working with day to day, and most important, what are those deposits that you're putting in every day? Is it doubt? Is it fear? Is it concern? Is it anxiety? Or is it, are you chipping away at a skill, learning a skill? Are you chipping away at an idea, perfecting an idea? Are you chipping away at a product, a service, at an understanding of an industry? Um, of command of something so that you are leading to mastery. What are you doing? Because whatever you're doing, it's going to accumulate. There's no question about that. Now here's the good news that the other thing that happens, the second thing that you can think of in terms of the passage of time, is that not only will you accumulate a lot but you can and should eliminate a lot. You see, you can eliminate those things that aren't of value. You can eliminate those choices that are not good for you. You can eliminate those uh, processes or uh, steps that you once thought were necessary, but aren't necessary. You can eliminate those things that um, were questions things that would make you worry, things that would make you concerned, 
things that m made you apprehensive because you didn't know where it would go, well, you can eliminate that in time. So if you're experimenting with something and trying to see, well, how would this work? Or how would this approach work? You can eliminate lots. See, there are a lot of things I've eliminated over the years that don't need to do anymore. Um, don't need to be concerned about anymore. Um, and that goes from, from everything to how I spend my time, to what I focus on, to um, even, even some pos possessions. You know, I've, I've uh, discarded possessions because I don't think I need that anymore. It's not important to me. Now, the great thing is that in your career, you will eliminate dead ends, you will eliminate the wrong prospects, you will eliminate the wrong sales tactics, you'll eliminate lots of things that don't produce the results you want. So that's the great thing about time. But here is the thing that is really exciting. It's almost as exciting as what you accumulate. But what's exciting is the third factor that you can leverage in time is you can accentuate whatever you want, whatever good exists, whatever value you bring, whatever knowledge you have, which is one of the reasons why continuing to work at whatever you do is so important. Because while you might not feel that you're making the progress that you'd like, or at least not so soon, you know, your continued focus on that will accentuate the progress that you make. You know, the accumulation of effort, of refinement, of eliminating what doesn't work, and eliminating what you don't want to do, will get you to a point where you can really accentuate what matters. So that's the power of time. The power of time is really something that is enormous and you can see it at work as soon as a week of work, a month of work, a quarter of work, a year of work, or five year span. You can use time to your advantage to get what you want and to know with some level of certainty that you're going to arrive at the place that you want to arrive at. You just have to look at where you're going right now and the results you're getting right now. And you just have to look at whether you're making um, incremental progress, gradual project progress, step by step, day by day, week by week, month by month, and you'll be able to predict the outcome. You'll be able to predict the results. The great thing is that it's no secret where you will wind up if you are mindful of where you are day to day. That's the exciting thing. So if you're writing a book, keep putting those words down, even if it's just a few words a day. If you're trying to generate new revenue for your business, just keep getting little sales, little deals. If you're trying to um, you know, decorate your home, keep picking pieces that are great. If you're an artist, keep dabbling at it, keep trying it, keep working at it. If you're writing a song, if you're renovating a home, if you're growing a company, whatever you're doing, time will work to your advantage. And if you use the time well, you will see the impact of time. The passage of time, the fullness of time brings incredible power. And if we appreciate that, we will get enormous results and people will wonder, how did you do that? How did you accumulate this real estate portfolio? How did you write so many books? How did you come up with all of these new products and services. Well, you did it over time. You committed to it over time. Three things happen. You accumulate it, 
you eliminate it and you accentuate it. The power of time. If you like this tip, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you like it. Uh, share it with someone in your network, someone who's uh, wondering if they're going to get their day to day. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time.